investing.com. Dror, welcome to Noah. Okay, hi guys. So, investing.com was uh, founded in 2007. Initially, we've uh, invested in the company $300,000, and within eight months, we've uh, become profitable. Uh, originally, we were called Forex Pros, but uh, we had to rebrand ourselves because we expanded our product line from Forex into all asset classes, and there was a big mis mismatch for our users, and that went well uh, for us. Uh, essentially, what we are doing, we are uh, a free network of financial websites. We're somewhere between Yahoo Finance and Bloomberg, where Bloomberg costs money and it's for the professionals. Yahoo Finance is for uh, the average investor. And we offer uh, a line of product, which is uh, a working office for the uh, trader and semi-professional. Uh, we have 18 languages over our network uh, with three local additions and uh, obviously we have uh, offices in uh, Spain, Cyprus and Israel with over 100 employees. Uh, as far as ranking, uh, you know, it's all about our mojo, so essentially we're getting there and we are ranked uh, according to similar web number 12 in the world over the uh, finance and investing uh, category. Uh, and with respect to our audience, uh, with our web metrics, we have just over uh, 5.3 million uniques per month with a growth rate of 33% year over year. Our app uh, scenario is a bit uh, new for us. We have uh, uh, established our um, app about a year ago and our uh, iOS uh, two months ago. Essentially, uh, we've managed to surpass the page view amounts that we have over our apps within a year than over our website that took us seven and a half years to construct. So we think the app is where the world is going to and we're happy to be in that position where we're becoming a, a leading force in the app, uh, financial app arena. We have a 10% month over month growth in that uh, field. As far as traffic sources, 64% of our traffic is direct traffic, which means people reach to our uh, websites basically from SEO, referring site and the likes. Uh, they meet our product, they like it, and so they uh, uh, continue to come back constantly to our websites. As far as asset classes, we started with Forex. However, nowadays it's about a third for indexes, a third for commodities, a third for Forex, and then only 10% for equities. Equities is a new asset class for us, and probably within two, three years, it will become the biggest asset class in our uh, network, which means we're being offered here uh, a big growth uh, moving forward. To those who are not familiar with our products, essentially it's all about uh, quotes, charts, and calendars and different tools that we offer most of it in real time streaming, and that is uh, a unique offering uh, in a global uh, perspective. As far as our apps, essentially, we think it's a great offering. Uh, obviously, we think it's the best in the world, but who cares what we think? What, care, what we care about is what our users are, are into, and essentially, they rank us uh, a 4.6, uh, which is the highest in the industry. So probably we're doing something uh, right with our uh, uh, app offering. Financials. Uh, 2013 was very difficult for us due to the uh, domain change. We took a hit uh, with our SEO traffic and that was predicted. Nevertheless, we see a mega jump in 2014. Uh, we're about to have uh, about $17 million in uh, revenues uh, with a 38% growth. And as far as the uh, net profit goes, we're going to have $7.6 million in profits and 82% uh, growth year over year. Uh, we do have an additional product which called Signal Trader. However, we're going to scrap it moving forward. We're not interested in, in continuing uh, working with it. It's a mirror trading system. So I'm going to ignore the numbers that uh, we're dealing here with. Uh, KPIs, um, 
the important part to note here is that both on the operating uh, profits and on the uh, uh, net profit, we're hovering somewhere between 40 and 45 percent, uh, with the exception of 2013, once again as a result of the uh, rebranding. Uh, another notable fact is uh, we have no debt and no uh, uh, outside investors. Changes. We believe that changes are very important in a rapid moving world. Essentially, we believe that a wise change equal to a bright future. And we've done several changes in the past and we will make additional several changes uh, moving forward. Uh, key changes uh, that we've done in the past are uh, shifting the programmers from outsourcing into in-house. Gives us a big edge and we can do exactly what we want. We control uh, our product very well. And at the end of the day, we feel it gives us an edge over the competition. Languages. We offer multi-language. Uh, we have uh, 19 languages now. And that allows us uh, a great opportunity for growth on a country per country basis. We are still very small, so our upside potential is enormous. Uh, asset classes, once again, we started with Forex. We expanded to uh, the rest of the financial asset classes. And that, again, is a great uh, way to, to uh, generate growth. And uh, the most important change we've done was obviously the uh, uh, domain change, moving from Forex Pros into Investing.com. It was uh, a very costly uh, event for us, both on the price of the domain and on the fact that we didn't have growth during 2013. Um, but it was uh, the best move and the best strategic de decision we've taken. It allows us now to raise our prices. Uh, it allows us to get partnerships and, and all kind of uh, a cooperation with different companies that we found it very hard to do it in the past. And obviously moving forward, we're planning more changes. We're going to get into the uh, personal finance um, uh, direction. And that brand will allow us to support that type of activity as well. So we'll get into uh, insurance, into um, credit cards and loans. Um, that's it. Thank you.